What's up guys, it's Clemos here. This is going to be another H1Z1 video. This is going to be H1Z1 tutorials, tips and tricks, not tutorials, tips and tricks episode 1. And this is going to be my top 10 tips on how to win Battle Royale. Um, I used to play all the time and I used to win pretty frequently using these kind of guidelines. Um, so I'm going to hop right into tip number 1. This is going to be a pretty quick video, so it's not very in-depth, but just kind of quick tips that I have. Tip 1, you're going to want to shred your face mask and your hat at the start of each round get the scrap cloth uh, and then drop your feet or your shoes just like I just did right there and that will make you run faster and quieter that way you don't have to uh, be loud and when you're on wood floors you'll be quiet um, if you want you can put on a camo t-shirt and stuff to blend in that's not that's kind of up to you um, I know a lot of people kind of sometimes use bright stuff and that's sometimes easier to get to target acquisition when you're shooting so that's up to you second tip play on third person and master as you can see right here I get two kills because I'm in third person um, it honestly is just the biggest help in the world playing a third person playing a first person I would definitely not do as good as I do once you get your accuracy down in third person you'll be way better off to go about games just because you'll have a bigger field of view you can peek around corners uh, that's technically, not, I, you can consider that cheating, I guess, if you want. I, I don't know. It's That's up in the air if you want to do that or not. Um, I think it's, there's no way to play without it. I, I would not be able to play without third person in this game. Um, so that is that. And the third tip I'm going to get into is play on a low mouse sensitivity. As you can see right here, I am on 10 and then like 0 0.8, 0 0.9, whatever. 0 0.10 and I think my DPI is like 1500 or 2000 which seems high I don't, I'm not entirely sure that I don't know I'm, I'm not entirely sure about that to be honest but load mouse sensitivity that way you don't go all over the place kind of like counter-strike all right tip number four you're just gonna want to pick up all your bath packs and clothing that you can on the ground um, like hats backpacks shirts pick them all up pick everything up you see Put it in your backpack and then go into a room and you'll want to shred them all up and then you will get a ton of bandages in stock. That way you don't have to keep getting a bunch of first aid kits. Obviously pick up as many first aid kits as you can get, but as you can see here I'm going to shred them all and then I'm going to end up with like 25 something bandages. I'm not entirely sure. I can't remember quite. Yeah, so 23 bandages right there. Um, so 23 bandages, that's plenty for a lot of the games I mean that's a lot of bandages to have in a stockpile um, let's lead right into tip number five is have your three main guns once you're done looting an area pick up find your guns that you want mine would be a shotgun AR AK and then run with them run with a gun at all times never have a gun away and then once you get your gun um, like right here run with your gun out at all times never put it away and then once you have your three guns and all your ammo get a pistol like an m9 and put it in your backpack i know this is kind of extreme but i have won games from this having a gun in your backpack like an m9 or a m1911 or even a magnum a magnum would not be a bad idea um, that way you can have all kinds of backup if you run out of ammo for your shotgun or whatever um, that way you don't screw anything up you don't run out of ammo all right, leading into tip number six, um, once you have your all your loot, get, you know, get all your grenades, get your your hat or your helmets. You want to have your motorcycle helmet and your uh, tactical helmet in the bag or whatever, however you like it. Um, get to the green circle, um, wherever it's at. Just look for it. I mean, go to the middle of the green circle, like wherever your safe zone's at. I call it a green circle all the time, even though it's a safe zone. I don't know why I do that. Um, you want to get to the middle of it and just kind of chill. If you're trying to win, you don't have to go out and kill people. You can let that happen on its own. Let natural selection happen. So like right here, you want to just go to the middle of it and just chill. Find a bush, hide in it, crouch in it, wait for it to get down. Um, I, I, I'm going to die in this one. I'm not going to win, but I hid here for like 20 minutes. 20 minutes over an exaggeration. Maybe 10 minutes. And then I'm just going to run. And we're going to lead right into number 7. Have your gun of choice out at all times. Um, I said this earlier when I was talking about guns, but this one I can't express more. Like, have your gun out because it doesn't affect your speed. Like, 
daisy it'll sp affect your speed a lot um, just the same kind of thing with like your shoes like if you drop your shoes you'll gain speed so having a gun out even in general it doesn't it doesn't affect your your, uh, your speed much at all so you can have a gun out that way like right here I shot at him I don't kill him I don't think Maybe I, do. nah, I don't but if I didn't have a gun out I wouldn't have been able to shot at him he might have gotten out and killed me and so on and so forth all right so let's lead on to tip number eight and then nine and ten are kind of both together um, number eight is I see this a lot and I don't know why a lot of people do it is don't team up with people in solo if you want to team with people go in the 2v2 or the 5v5 thing that way you're guaranteed to team with them if they don't can't kill you if you can team with someone and you you, you gain their trust and they turn your back on you kill them like the, you're going for the win if you if you if you're gonna try to team up with someone they're gonna backstab you I like I can promise that because only one person can win each battle royale solo don't ever don't ever team up with anybody don't ever do that ever if you can get them to trust you kill them so it's kind of like a full loop circle don't trust anybody but if you can get them to trust you kill them um, <clears throat> number nine once you're in the top 10 or 20 don't don't just don't do anything stupid I see a lot of people like especially when I'm playing try to like do some heroic 360 YY no scope flashy shoot unexpected thing and try to kill someone and it fails miserably every single time like don't don't get nervous don't 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 get too stupid when you're in the top 20 because you think you're gonna win and you're on fire or something keep playing the same way this is kind of, it's kind of common sense but you'd be surprised at how many people screw it up and they're so stupid and then tip number 10 is pretty much the same thing just keep your calm in the last moments um, don't freak out or try too hard um, sometimes people will get too focused and they'll not pay attention to like if someone's coming up on them and just just chill just don't you can hide you have plenty of time you don't have to worry about anything you can just you can just chill but that's gonna be that for this video leave a like if you enjoyed comment for suggestions subscribe for more videos like this one because I will be posting a lot more hopefully a lot more episodes of this and different series and all kinds of different things for H1Z1 as long as it keeps getting popular I guess I don't know um, I just got ran over almost um, so I mean that there's not much else to it that's those are basically the 10 tips I use to to win <clears throat> I'm not gonna win right here and I just got boosted across the map that was really weird so thanks for watching I already said that so peace out